Hello and welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. In today's video, I will show you how to install and set up Tailwind CSS latest version 2.0 in your Angular app latest version 11.1.1 as of recording this video. This was a video request by someone. I am not an Angular developer, but I thought I could record this and help you set up Tailwind in Angular. So first open terminal or command prompt if you have Windows. And I'm assuming if you're an Angular developer, you already have the Angular CLI globally installed. If not, you need to first install it using npm install dash g angular CLI. If you have already done this, ignore this and instead create a new Angular project using ng new. I will call it Angular app. Uh, it's asking me do you want to enforce stricter type checking i will say yes and would you like to add angular routing no and which style sheet format would you like to use here you have to select scss and hit enter this might take a few minutes once it's done cd into the directory And let me open this up in Visual Studio Code by typing code space dot. Now let me open up terminal within this. And let's install Tailwind CSS and a lot of other dependencies like npm install with, a, with an option dash d, Tailwind CSS, auto prefixer. We will need post CSS import and post CSS loader post css scss and angular builders custom webpack because we will need a custom webpack configuration this is done within your source folder go into styles.css and here we will need to import the tailwind styles import base import components and utilities save this file now using this command npx tailwind css in it let's generate the tailwind css config file in the project root sorry it has to be npx tailwind css in it and you will see that in your project root we have tailwind.config.js with all the default options we will come back to it later now in your project root you need to manually create webpack.config.js i will do it using command line you can Manually create it however you wish. Webpack.config.js and here it's created. And now you need to paste some code within here, which is available in my blog, which has the same instructions as this video. The link of this blog is in the description below. So go to that link, scroll down. You have completed all of these steps now. Now this is what you need to paste in the webpack.config.js. So copy this, paste it here, save the file, and then we need to modify our angular.json. And the way we do that is using command line again. So go back to the blog and copy each of these commands line by line. Just make sure to replace angular app with your project name copy the next command paste it again replace it with angular app and then the third command copy paste it enter so this makes certain changes to angular.json file which are required now that's it Tailwind CSS is successfully installed, but let's check if this really works. So within your app directory, 
in the app.component.html i'll remove everything here and i'll just include a div with a tailwind utilities width full h screen that is the height of the screen flex justify center items center and then within this let me simply have a heading tag with a font bold text 5xl and then a blue color maybe text blue 700 and just say hello tailwind css save this file and with a simple ng serve your app should now display it says port 4200 is already in use yes i would like to use a different port it's compiling this is now done and we can go to this link here and great we have tailwind css installed because with the utility classes we are able to center this div color it blue if you like to inspect element you can inspect and check that text blue has translated to this color and all of this has translated using tailwind now you're good to go but we have only one problem that is if you noticed our styles.css file is huge it's 4.29 mb which is a lot in production so if you want to optimize for production just add one more step here so go to your tailwind.config.js file and within the purge you can replace this line with the one in the blog so go down and then copy this paste it here and here we're just mentioning that this is where all the tailwind utility classes are mentioned so what tailwind does is for production it takes all those utility classes removes everything else that is unused and gives you a very small file let's see if that works so now let me say npm run build prod Now you see, this gives us a styles.css of just 9.96 KB. So now you're ready for production as well. Congratulations, you are now ready to use Tailwind CSS to build amazing Angular apps. Thank you for watching. Hit a like and share this video ahead. If you enjoyed watching this, don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from Tyrus.